In the last devlog, I made a city that is procedurally generated for a different experience every playthrough. I started by making zones for different types of buildings to be located in. I then made different prefabs to be spawned in those zones. I then ran into some lag issues. And finally, I added a character and a car controller. Okay, so now that we have a randomly generated city, what can I add to make it feel more realistic? Oh yeah, how about some people walking around? So when thinking about how I want this, there are two ways that people will be able to move around. One way will just be pedestrians randomly walking along the sidewalks. This can be done by adding waypoints on each grid where the sidewalks are. And the other way is by people running away or fighting you. For this, I'm going to need something along the lines of a math mesh. This is because I need people to be able to go where I want them to, while also avoiding obstacles. Unity's built-in nav mesh is great for this, and it shouldn't take that long to implement. Five hours later. Well, that took a little longer than expected. I have used the Unity nav mesh system in previous projects, but never for a procedurally generated scene. I was able to figure it out mostly at the start, but for some weird reason, the nav mesh would be completely inaccurate in some areas, allowing for AI agents to think that they can walk through things like buildings and fences. Fortunately, after trying random things for a while, I found that the property Collect Objects All was the issue under the NavMesh Surface script. So I went ahead and changed it to Collect as Children Only, and I made sure that everything I wanted included in the NavMesh was a child of the script. I can't believe that it took me five hours to figure this out. Regardless, the NavMesh is now working exactly how I want it to, so the next step is to get some NavMesh agents set up in the scene. I started by making a very simple script to move a character model from the City Characters Pack by Cinti Studio. As you can see, it's able to navigate around obstacles to get to the red target sphere. The only problem here is that there's no animations, so the model is just T-posing. Thankfully, my character controller already has animations, so I should just be able to use those for the AI as well. After messing with a few things and fixing a few annoying bugs, the agent is now able to walk around with a basic walking animation. And honestly, I'm really happy with how it looks so far. Everything seems really smooth and pretty realistic as well. The agent takes the best path and doesn't hit any obstacles. With the agent able to walk around the nav mesh with animations, I now need to make it so that they can walk around the sidewalks randomly. The way that seemed easiest to do this is by adding waypoints to the sidewalks and connecting them up to create a giant graph, allowing for agents to walk from one point to another anywhere in the city. After writing some code to connect up all of the waypoints in the scene, here's what it looks like. The blue lines are waypoints connected in the same road tile, and the red lines are waypoints connected between two tiles. The blue connections were very easy to implement, and the red ones were a little more difficult, but after some time I figured out a way to get them all connected up. Now that I've got the graph of waypoints all set up, we're onto the fun stuff. I'm personally really interested in algorithms, I've done countless coding problems on LeetCode and various other websites, and this is perfect because I need to find out a way to find the shortest route between two waypoints on the graph. To give a real life example of this problem, let's take a look at Google Maps. On Google Maps, you're able to find directions to anywhere you want to go. To find a route, Google will take into consideration things like distance, traffic, speed limits, etc. to find the best way to get from point A to point B. Thankfully, my algorithm won't need to be this complex since I will only be calculating the best route based on distance for now. The algorithm that best suits finding routes between two points on a graph is the A-star algorithm. This is because it'll always find the best route unlike depth first search or swarm, and it does it faster than other algorithms like Dijkstra's, which is exactly what we want. The ASAR algorithm is pretty complicated to implement, but I was able to get it working after a couple of hours. There's definitely some optimizations I can make to my code, but after testing it for a bit, it'll definitely be more than fast enough for my use case. The green lines here indicate the path taken, and it seems to be working pretty good. I think at this point I have everything I need to start getting pedestrians into the scene walking around. I have the nav mesh, walking animations, waypoints, and pathfinding all working, so it'll definitely be interesting to see how they all come together. The first step to this is spawning and despawning pedestrians depending on their distance from the player. Since the world is pretty large, it is important to only have a small amount of agents loaded in at a time. I began by creating the logic to spawn in pedestrians at the game's start. I did this by grabbing a random direction and distance from the player for each spawn point. I also made it so that they will despawn and respawn as one gets too far from the player. Moving on to getting the agents walking around, I was going to have them walk to random waypoints on the map with the A-star algorithm I made, but I thought it was a little unnecessary, so I have them walking to random waypoints instead. I will be using the algorithm in the future for other things like minimap directions, so it's not like it'll go to waste. Now that everything should be ready to go, let's see the pedestrians walking around. Wait, that's not supposed to happen. Um, I guess let's try again? That didn't work either. Well then, let's try one more time. 
Okay, this time it seems like it's actually working. Our biker pedestrians are randomly walking around the city following the graph of waypoints. This is an amazing start, but there are more things I want to add in the future. They're going to be able to need to cross the street safely when there are cars. They'll need to have different idle animations for when they are waiting or maybe talking to another person. They'll need to have different states for things like combat, running, walking, idle, etc. This will all be really fun to work on in the future, so I'm very excited to get started working on that soon. The last thing I wanted to add to this devlog is different character models for pedestrians. Right now they are all male bikers, but I wanted to add different models since I have about 100 models from these Cinti Studio asset packs. This was very quick to do. I just made a quick script that randomizes the model for each character, and voila, now there is a nice variation of character models in the game. That is everything that I've completed for this devlog. I really appreciate the support on the last video and can't thank everyone enough. I'm excited to continue posting videos hopefully every month, so if you're interested in that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot. Also, I have a community discord for anyone interested in staying up to date with my game or just talking game dev with other like-minded people. With all of that in mind, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.